tries one more time. It's just, it's a fun card. It just kind of starts to hold itself. Look at this thing. Oh, no, no, uh, yep. Yeah. It's garbage day, guys. Everybody. Welcome back today guys to the channel Forza Horizon 4 today is a big day man season what 14 15 I don't know what we're on currently I do know though uh, it's a Halloween update and we have a couple new things coming in the game we have the pumpkin hat at 50% for the summer season not too sure why they put a pumpkin hat for 50% I feel like it should have been maybe flipped or just get the pumpkin hat out of there and put it into one of the other events so because they ended up putting the Roslyn Q1 or however you want to pronounce it in a playground summer games now this actually was pretty hard to obtain it was a four event setup you had to make sure you're on the right team because I did it thankfully the other team started to back out because we started winning and then it kind of made it a little bit faster it was still about a good 20 minute process though to get the car so it could have been longer if we had to restart it if you lost those four events you'd have to go and do it again and that was really the only new car for the week bugatti devo we're gonna be back next thursday sure taking a look at this car i'm very excited for this one skeleton skin at 80 percent man they're trying to do fortnite out here they gotta have something new in here no oh yeah the bmw e92 m3 gts so not a lot of new cars in here but again though we are past that year life cycle so it is awesome to see us still getting content conan saying cc gt uh, for the final spring events here. So this should be a lot of fun this week. Call of Duty is also coming out today, man. Let me know if you're playing it. Before we do so, though, let's take this thing out for a drive. Three liter, twin turbo, 450 horsepower, mid-engine, rear-wheel drive car. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing delivered. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to slap that like button. We're in, uh, oh yeah, we're in the quarry still, man. This is exactly where we had to do the summer event this week. It's just, it's weird, though, that it, you know, it doesn't change events. You know, we're stuck playing the same kind of map in the quarry for four times in a row. It just it didn't make any sense. Now, we're going to get this back on the road, though. It does sound very nice, though. Oh, my God. You can hear these turbos. They want to go, man. I want them to go. Not in the dirt, though. Hold on. Hold on. Now, I'm just going to end up doing a lap. And my car is dirty. Oh, this is terrible, dude. Hold on. Hold on. This was supposed to be an actual road, man. Look at this. This is not a road. This is still dirt. What about this road down below it? Or do we have a road coming into it? Okay, yeah. Now, if you guys do think this car does look familiar, this is actually a brand new kit car. Uh, it came out in 2010, looks like, but uh, this was off the Noble M400 car that uh, we've previously seen in 4th War. So it's cool to see this thing kind of back in a new version, if you will. Hold it, hold, hold it, hold. Kind of. Finally back on some road. Look at the car, though, man. I just had it washed. You hear those turbos? Oh, man, it sounds so good. Let's see how it sounds in cockpit view here. Holy shit. How am I missing that gear? It doesn't make any sense. I'm nice and slow through it. There we go. Okay, car's pretty fast. We hit like 150 right there. Handling's even better though. That's that's one of the big key things of this car is that it just it's a grip monster man it's just trying to fight for every little bit of traction and it's got a nice little pull to it though here we go let's see how the brakes are here yes man it feels good the wind is actually taking a lot of the dirt off the car look at that i just realized that Sorry, I didn't mean to. I was looking at the dirt. Okay, okay. The one here from Bryce Hogan, and he goes, We need body skid drift builds back. Now, I forget exactly what I called them back in the day. I think it was body roll drifting is what I ended up calling them on Forza Horizon 4. But I definitely agree with you. We need to see some more of those builds back. I recently did a video on Forza Motorsport 7 with my G35, and that actually did pretty well. That actually got a pretty good response. Uh, so I definitely would like to go back on Forza 7 and uh, start doing some more content on that game because it definitely is something that I miss. I just want to go back to just just proper drifting videos for you guys, man. That's that's kind of the biggest thing that I'm missing, just tandems online, having fun with some friends and stuff like that. So I think definitely in the future, uh, be on the lookout for some more proper kind of in the lobbies on Forza 7, man. I'm excited to be back on that game, really am though, but I need your support, man. Let me know down below. 
channel views, man. What do you guys want to see out there? I, I don't right, I don't know anymore, man. You guys just right, trying to play some new games, man. Trying to just stretch the life out until he comes out. Obviously, channel is not uh, the way it was back when you know, Forza Horizon 4 came out, man. Views, right? They're not, they're not the worst. They're not the best either, right? But I do appreciate everybody sticking around. I'm having fun, though, man. That's the biggest thing about this. This car is fun. What I do want to do, though, I want to definitely make this car just, right, a little bit more fun. All right, we got another comment here from Pierce Theodore, and he goes, Hey, Slab, recently got a wheel, and I was wondering if you could give me some tips and pointers for not just drifting, but driving in general. Um, I think the biggest thing is just to find the, that good balance on the force feedback and then go from there in terms of upgrading. Maybe it's a little bit too tough and you know, once you get horsepower and you're not really too sure you know, where to start from. But if you start from you know, where the car is just basic, stock, you get a good feel for the car from there. Adjust your settings, your damper settings. Um, the biggest thing if you're trying to drive, make sure your damper and your center force is a little bit higher. I feel like that will really you know, help just trying to, you know, find that grip in the center locking. Big thank you for watching, though, my man. And uh, hopefully, your skills with the wheel will progress, man. It's just, it, you know, it's a game of just patience. And that's really what it comes down to is just, you know, finding that sweet spot, learning it. And sometimes it takes practice, man. It takes a lot of seat time. The brakes, I don't even want to touch them, man. Look at the rotors and brake calipers. I love those. And unfortunately, every single time race brakes go on there, they take that off, right? It's a little bit sad. All right, these double snails, what do they go up to? 642, I'm thinking 300? 58, what? 733, I damn it. Not bad, actually. It is gonna be definitely doable. Uh, I did leave stock tires on here, I do believe. What are we on here? Stock tires? Yeah, okay, so there's sport tires regardless. So, it, right, they're gonna have some grit. We're gonna now have some power. I think it's gonna be a perfect balance. We did have another comment here from Angry Doggo. This one was actually pretty funny, man. This one hit home, he goes, y'all remember him screaming during his intros, I missed that, man. Those were such long days ago, and you know, sometimes I look back and wonder, what the hell was I doing, man? Why were my audio levels so trash back in the day? I don't know. Nobody told me, man. I, I, those were the days, though, right? They really were, though. Holy shit. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and let this car go by. I take a fat rip out of here, I think. Sorry. Holy shit, it's quick, man. Got a lot of just turbo just pulling us through here. 180. Okay. I was not expecting it to have this much pull. 700 and change. Q1 kick car. I think probably super lightweight. I didn't even check to see how much it weighed. Come on. See if we make this corner. Oh no! Bushes are flying, man. I'm sorry. Okay, let's just. I feel embarrassed. I really thought I could make that one, right? Let's just. Sorry. Oh, sign tap. Let's see what fourth gear wants to do, maybe. Come on, you through this. Nope. There's fifth gear coming out. Go. One more, one more. Uh, we were looking so good, too. Wanted to stay on the road with that. We had a perfect little setup on there, too. One more time, maybe, here, hopefully. We're not even tuned yet. This is just drift suspension and a little bit of upgrades on here. Six gear. Oh! Stay off the rocks! Oh, we were so close right there. So close to a good run. Try this one more time. It's just, it's a fun car. It just kind of starts to hold itself. Look at this thing. Oh, no, no. Oh, yep. Yeah. It's garbage day, I guess. You didn't have all your freshly packed garbage at the side of the road and just somebody comes by and just dummies it. Oh my goodness. He's so upset, man. You have no idea. It takes a long time to get garbage ready. I don't know if you guys do the garbage at your house or not, but, <laughs> right? I do. Takes some time sometimes. Man. Oh, yep. Yeah. I don't think I'm making this. Yeah, okay. Nice little city here. We can kind of throw this around. Now, I don't know if you guys ended up seeing the uh, the GTO build that I did earlier in the week, but I played around with some different Forza games at the same time. Kind of went back and forth from Forza Horizon 4 to 3 to Forza 7, all in one video. If you guys missed that, definitely go check it out. But 
I had a lot of fun doing it. I want to keep doing those style videos, but I want to make them a little bit better. I got a few, uh, you know, kind of new ideas that I want to implement into that series. So if you guys have any others, let me know down in the comment section. But right, one more roundabout attempt. We're going to call this a day here. I will say, though, I definitely did like this car. This thing was a lot of fun. We didn't even need to tune it for it to be that fun, though, right? I mean, this thing just automatically spins tires, sport tires, mind you. And we did throw out, I think, 235s on the rear, 265s, I'm not exactly too sure, but we tossed on some good rubber, I felt like. And we still have quite a bit of grip, especially sideways. All that weight just kind of soaks right down in the suspension, but I definitely had a lot of fun with this car. Let me know your thoughts down below. Roslyn, or Roslyn Q1, 2010, was this 2010? 2010, I'm going off course. I'm going to destroy this kit car. I don't even know how much this thing is worth. Oh, shit. Thank you guys so much for watching once again for today. Let me know what you want to see down below in the comment section next. GTA just updated today as well with a brand new car, so maybe I'll come back and do that this week. But I know GTA just updated this week with a brand new car also, so I definitely want to come back and check that out. Top 10 Drift has got to make a comeback this week, so Top 10 will be hitting the channel this weekend, so make sure you guys look out for that. Maybe Sunday or Saturday. I've yet to really decide, but it's going to be a good one, man. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. Forza Horizon 4. Rosin Q1 kick car? I don't right I don't know man. This thing was fun though today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm um,